Armson Lavoisier is the first one who tried to have an extensive list of 33 elements. He also distinguished the metals and the nonmetals. Gian Diaco Bezelius is the one who developed the atomic weight table of an element. He also used some letters to symbolize elements. Lothar Mayer lists 56 elements considering the atomic mass or the molar volume of the element. Dmitry Ivanovich Mingelev, he was the only one who arranged elements in accordance to their atomic mass and chemical properties. The purpose of periodic law states that the properties of an element vary depending to its atomic weight. William Ramsey discovered the existence of the noble gases which is belongs to the last columns of the elements, like helium and radon. Noble gases considered as the most stable elements, and it's the only elements with complete valence electrons. Henry Mosley, he developed the modern periodic table. He also identified the atomic number of all the elements of the periodic table. He modified periodic law, which states that properties of the elements is vary depending on its atomic number. Glenn Seaboard synthesized the elements after uranium, which is transuranic or transuranic elements. These elements are after uranium, which is the element of number 93 to 118. How to name and crisscross different elements? In crisscrossing, we have binary ionic compound, transition elements, and fully atomic bonding. Binary ionic compounds are ions of two different elements. Transition element refers to of, of various metallic elements that have valence electrons in two shells instead of one. Weak bonding contains more than one element which is predetermined in periodic table. Elements are named with cation and anion. One example of polyatomic bonding is a sodium and sulfate. For sodium, we have Na, and for sulfate, we have SO4 with a superscript of 2. I got the sulfate in the polyatomic section of the modern periodic table of the elements. So if we combine Na plus SO4 with a superscript of 2, is equivalent to 2 atoms of Na and 4 atoms of SO, which is sodium and sulfate. After we explained the polyatomic bonding, 
Now, it's your turn to answer the problem. So if you want to answer it, you can post it. And after you post it, you can see the answer by continuing the video. After I explained the polyatomic bonding, now it's your turn. If you want to answer it, you can post the video. Now, I hope you're done. So here's the answer. Mg2 SO4 is equal to magnesium sulfate. So here's the solution. How did we get the final answer? So first, you must do the crisscross. The superscript of sulfate must be the subscript of magnesium that is equal to magnesium sulfate. But take note, you must exclude the parenthesis. After the polyatomic bonding, we have the covalent bonding. So covalent bonding is a type of bonding of two non-metal. Remember, two non-metal elements. For the naming rules, we have the prefix plus base element plus prefix plus the root name of the element and plus the IDE. For example, N for nitrogen and the subscript is 2. For the S, we have sulfur and the subscript is 3. So after we do the crisscrossing, we should have the 2 atoms of nitrogen and 3 atoms of sulfur. Under the covalent bonding, we have the prefix. For 1, we have mono. For 2, we have di. For 3, tri. 4, tetra. 5, penta. 6, hexa. 7, hepta. 8, octa, 9, nona, and 10 for deca. Hence, 2 atoms of nitrogen plus 3 atoms of sulfur is equal to di, which represents the 2, and trisulfide, which represents the 3 atoms. So di means 2 and tri for 3. So now it's your turn. Give the name of the formula CO2. You can pause the video to answer the question. So the answer is carbon dioxide. In example of binary ionic compound, we have sodium which is represented by Na and sulfur which is represented by S. Sulfur has the superscript of 3 and subscript of 4, which refers to the atoms. When we do crisscross, the superscript of sulfur will be the subscript of sodium. So, we have Na3S4, which is equal to sodium sulfide. An example of transition elements, we have chromium, which is represented by CR, and iodine, which is represented by I. Chromium has the superscript of 3, and iodine has the superscript of positive 1. When we do crisscross, the superscript of the chromium will be the subscript of iodine. Therefore, it will become CRI3 or equal to chromium iodide. And now, it's your turn for the question, what is the chemical formula and name of MNS with a superscript of 2? I hope you're done answering the question. And now, here is the solution. MN2S is equal to manganese 2 sulfide. Take note, make the number 2 to be Roman numeral. 